Welcome back to Iowa Works. During this section, we are joined by Ben Stone with RPO Consulting. Let's start at the beginning, Ben. Talk to us a little bit about how you define social media. Well, um, the easiest thing to do is just look at the words. I mean, social media, social is the, the most important part of it, and media is just a way to share information. So social media is the way that humans connect and share information using online tools. Um, it takes a lot of different flavors and forms, but essentially it's just the same thing that we're doing here, mm -hmm. just doing it online. So sharing information online. That's how I would define it. And there are so many aspects to social media. If someone's looking for a job and wants to use social media, what do they do? Where do they start? In my mind, there's kind of a stage or a progression to, to engaging with social media. And it's the same whether you're going to sell stuff or whether you're going to um, try to find a job. And the first thing you need to do is listen. Kind of listen to the conversations that are important to you. Listen to the people that are talking on social media platforms about things that matter to your job search in this case. So if you're a uh, graphic designer, let's say, then you, you can use social media to listen to what people are saying about graphic design. The next stage, kind of stage two, would be then to connect with those people or talk to those people, join their conversation, if you will. Um, and then the third stage is to develop a, a brand, a personal brand. And that's where most people try to start, unfortunately, is they think they want to blog or they want to do something big. Well, you start like anything new with listening and then connecting and then building. So that's, that's how I would look at it. Mostly for job seekers, then the, the research part, the kind of listening part is the biggest part. Probably before we go too much further, we should say, what are the tools of social media? Oh, gosh, there's, um, there's a million of them. I, and every day there seems to be another one. Google just came out with a, a, a tool called SideWiki, which is, I mean, yeah, everybody does the same thing. It's like, oh, my gosh. <laughs> not another, another one. one. Not another one. <laughs> the big ones, though, are, are going to be Facebook and LinkedIn and Twitter. Um, there's also blogs. So those are the kind of the big areas where people are, are spending a lot of time, especially LinkedIn and Facebook and Twitter. Those are the three big ones in terms of job seeking I would kind of look at first. And then, you know, go whichever direction you want to go from there. Well, and how important are computer skills to even playing the game? Computer skills are big, but the thing to think about, though, is that the, these tools are made to be easy. They, they have a lot of people spending a lot of money on Facebook to make it as easy to interact as possible. So the tools are, are a little bit difficult to understand. It's the social norms that you're trying to understand. It's the how do I interact with these people in this new place. So that's how I, I look at it anyway. Many Americans are really concerned about identity theft and securing their personal information. Is that something that they should be concerned about in this sort of broader, freer social media arena? It is a concern. Um, I see the concerns breaking down on kind of generational lines right now. There's a, there's a general feel, and, and I've done a lot of reading on this and, and talking to a lot of people. In general, the, the kids that are growing up with this stuff, I say kids, I, I shouldn't say that, but the, the younger job seekers that are growing up with this stuff are very free with their information. You almost have to caution them that, you know, really the Social Security number shouldn't go on your blog. Mm -hmm. But uh, I'm a Gen Xer, and, and my generation is somewhere in the middle. But baby boomers in particular are, are having a hard time with how much to share. And I would recommend, um, you know, you have to be comfortable with it. Mm -hmm. But if you don't share, then people aren't going to connect. So it's a balance like anything else. Um, you need to look at what you're trying to do with it with what your controls are but make sure that you you at least address it you don't just let the the platform that you're on kind of dictate your your mind so maybe sharing. pause and consider yeah. what you're putting on there before exactly. you just randomly start typing in and aim it aim it in a right. direction you know and be purposeful with it mm -hmm. not just um, accidental i think is a problem during this series we've talked about you know getting off the couch don't be stuck in your house network get out and meet people look around how much time should i put into social media, which is probably is going to be me and my computer most of the time. Yeah. Uh, I would recommend that social media be looked at in your job search just like traditional networking. They would hold an equal kind of balance. So um, I would split your time between your time. Uh, I would split a job seeker's time between uh, the standard getting out and, and, and having coffee with people and networking events and the social media part. I would, I would weight those equally, however much different jobs require different amount of, of networking to be successful. Some jobs are very um, standard routine driven. You, know, you go through a normal process. Uh, I think of like union jobs. They just have a defined way, but maybe a, a, a program manager requires more networking. They would require more social networking as well. 
So if I'm very new to this, where would I start? Is there one site that you'd recommend that I start with? I would start with LinkedIn. I think that that's pretty standard operating procedures for recruitment processes now to have a, a component that, that looks at LinkedIn. Um, it's a great way to kind of, um, it's very professional. It's a, there's not a lot of this concern about, mm -hmm. um, you know, is my picture going to be out there tagged drinking a beer or something. Um, but LinkedIn is a great place to start for job seekers. I recommend every job seeker at least get their profile up there. Do you still recommend Facebook and Twitter? I think at least for some of us who are over 40, you're not as familiar as using that as a networking tool. I would recommend them as a listening tool. Um, whether you engage, you go to that third stage and, and develop a platform or develop a, a profile on there to, to build your brand, that's kind of going to be up to you. But at least using those those platforms as a listening post to say, okay, what's what are people saying on Twitter about graphic design or whatever mm -hmm. industry I'm interested in? And that's what I do a lot of teaching on is that listening skills. Great. Now, when you see people using social media, are there some particular errors that you see people make most, something you sh really shouldn't do? You really shouldn't just go out there and beg for a job, uh, which is <laughs> it equates to uh, spam. Uh, buy my stuff or hire me is kind of considered spam. So go out there with the intent to connect, and that's your first thing, is always to connect first. Well, we're out of time. Uh, in our next uh, time we see Ben, he'll talk to us about how we use social media to specifically go out and search for job opportunities.